Title, Baby Boom Blueprint, Beijing's New Strategy Unveils Full Coverage for IVF and Fertility Treatments. TL, DR, Beijing's Big Wigs Are Playing the Stork, Providing a Safety Net for Struggling Couples Looking to Expand Their Broods. From July 1st, 16th Types of Fertility Treatments, Including In Vitro Fertilization, IVF, and Embryo Transplantation, Are Getting Snuggled Under the City's Healthcare System. Is this the ultimate baby-making remix? Or a cry for help from a nation dealing with the aftermath of dwindling birth rates? Story Strap in for a wild baby ride, folks. If your relationship status with fertility has been its complicated, Beijing might just be sliding into your DMs. On Thursday, they unrolled a plan straight out of a stork's playbook to turn the tide of their declining birth rates. Starting from July, the city's healthcare system will be extending its cuddly arms to accommodate 16 types of assisted reproduction technology. Now, isn't that the kind of care package we all love to receive? IVF, embryo transplantation, freezing and storing semen, all these procedures are going to be playing footsie under Beijing's basic insurance, according to Du Xin, deputy director of Beijing's Municipal Medical Insurance Bureau. This move isn't just an episode of Oprah's favorite things though. If we pull back the curtain, we see a China battling a slump in the baby-making department, with a record low of 6.77 newborns per 1,000 people last year. The numbers have been so dire that even the National Health Commission stepped in last year with guidance to provinces on sprucing up policies to bolster fertility rates. The question is, is this move too little, too late or just in time to save the day? This decision could also serve as a plot twist in the legal battle of Theresa Xu, an unmarried 35-year-old woman who sued a Beijing hospital for turning the cold shoulder on her egg-freezing request due to her relationship status. There's been a murmur in the grapevine about amending the rules that have been keeping single and unmarried women from fertility treatments like IVF and egg-freezing. But, are we ready to open this Pandora's box? Or is it time to break these glass ceilings? While private clinics in some provinces have started loosening their ties with the norm and begun offering IVF, a nationwide rollout of liberal fertility treatments could open up the floodgates to what is already the world's biggest market. But, with great potential, comes great strain, and industry insiders are already raising eyebrows at the looming pressure on limited fertility services. So, we're left with a swirling mix of questions. Is Beijing's fertility plan a masterstroke that will rejuvenate a nation, or a band-aid solution to a problem that requires a deeper societal change? Disclaimer, this article is not intended to serve as medical or financial advice. Always consult with a professional for such matters. What do you think? Ah, uh, fertility treatments like IVF are right that should be universally accessible, or do you believe there are other ways to address the challenges of declining birth rates?